Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're going to unbox a fun little watch today. This one is a, uh, well, it's really nice. It's very elegant. It's a uh, beautiful dress watch. It's called the Z4 or Z4 for our European fans. I tell you, doing this channel, you're learning more and more about the international uh, global marketplace out there. Uh, no, India, I don't know if this will ship to you. <laughs> Every watch I post, they ask from India. Um, anyway, this is the uh, Z4. Look at this. Look at this. This is high quality. This is nice. Smartwatch, fashion apparel, charging dock, heart rate monitor. Wow, not a port on it. Ah. Uh, you know, it's metal, so I really wouldn't say take it in water, but it sure looks like it could be waterproof. One button on the side, a nice clasp for the band. Yeah, sweet. And what actually is the Z4? It's an Android uh, and iOS tethering style watch. It um, does fitness tracking, has the Bluetooth connectivity, and it comes to us from Gearbest, our really fun sponsor. Keeps sending us great, great products. Uh, this is the latest in the, the line, and of course, I'm going to have a discount uh, coupon for you in the show notes down below. below. <laughs> and we really encourage you to use that because it helps us, helps you, because I get more watches to review, and of course, it helps Gearbest to get exposure to this awesome product. Let's take a look at it. It's a standard 2502 chip. We've seen that in all these tethering watches. Look at that, IP67. I was right. It is uh, waterproof. You can swim and shower in this one. Nice. It's got all these different functions, which is typical of tethering watches. It's a 240 by 240 screen. Little battery. Not a big one, but you really don't need large in um, these uh, and Android style tethering watches sorry it's not an android watch it's a tethering watch uh and, and look at this you get about two to three days use out of a two hours of charging and so forth what it's compatible with and uh, the languages that it supports so what else have we got in the box let's take a look Ooh, we've got a long vertical manual in chinese for sure hopefully english yeah, it looks like it on, on here. Is it going backwards? <clears throat> wow. Chinese. Yes, fully Chinese all the way. Okay. And then English, but it looks like the last two pages are different. So, oh, and, and the, and the uh, charging cradle thing, or charging dongle on the end of a wire which is your standard four pin magnetic coupler and how strong is it we always like to test that good and strong it's going to hold nice and solid this is really good because you can get these easily and it makes sure that the watch is sealed no holes like sticking a uh, wire into a hole uh, really good i'm very impressed very good design awesome this is easy to adjust too you see the little patterns here you simply get a little screwdriver or something, pry that up, slide it on down to where the groove hits the next one, snap it down, and uh, I'll show it to you on in a little bit. It just hooks easily right there and clips down, and that's it. Once you have it set to your size, very easy to get in and out of. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this manual. I'm going to try. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now... I'm going to tell you, this thing um, tethers to the uh, Fundoware app. And we have reviewed the Fundoware app many, many times. Many times. It's the most common app that's used for tethering. And I've had other watches that I've gone out and collected step data on and sleep data on and heart rate data on. And so we're not going to do that all over again, um, because this is not a review of an app over and over. It's a review of a watch. So knowing that it uses the Fundoware app, you'll be able to uh, look at any of the other watch reviews if you want to learn more about that app or just download it yourself. Okay, there's the product. There's the box, the wire. 
We've covered everything except how cool this watch is. This, folks, has got one of the best speakers. Yeah, speakers I've ever heard. A little row of holes right there is where the speaker is. I'm going to press and hold it. We'll turn it on and listen. Hopefully it'll make a sound. You hear how rich that is? Solid bass. And look at the watch face. Isn't that cool? But wait, there's more. We have a few other installed watch faces. A little analog one. Another analog one with gold. A digital watch face. And then this one, which has a few different options on here. Like you press that and it lets you connect your Bluetooth, uh, which were not connected. With this one, you have your pedometer um, number of steps just displayed. And here you can hit a phone and you can call a phone number. Of course, you have to be connected with Bluetooth for all that to happen. Okay, so those are the watch faces. I go back to the colorful one. I like that one. When you swipe down, you get this display that shows you your battery, your Bluetooth condition. You can go into airplane mode and you can silence it right here or have volume. When you're back at the watch face, if you swipe up or <laughs> anyway, but that way, uh, if you swipe left or if you swipe right, you're going to go into all of your apps. So the only way you get that upper display is by swiping down from any page and you can go into all these pages of apps. These are the uh, installed apps on here. Let's get to the first page which is right here after the last one. You've got a phone book, which by the way is tethered, uh, brings in the phone book tethered from your watch. A dialer, we saw that. Your call logs for calls that you've made from your phone. Remember, this is a tethered type of a watch, so it's uh, pulling in the uh, call logs and contacts from your phone. And then your uh, notifications, your text messages. The next one, has a find your device when you're tethered you press that and it's going to beep both your phone and your watch you can set different alarms on here you have a basic calendar that shows you the today's date and then it shows you uh, the calendar hasn't been synced up yet so the calendar is not correct then you have an audio player the audio player is pretty cool because the volume is so loud on here if we are bluetooth connected and we hit the play uh, it'll play the music that's on your uh, phone through your watch. And you can adjust the volume on your phone to get it like maximum and then adjust the volume right here to play back on your watch. And with that really good speaker, it's awesome. Then you come over to a Bluetooth camera. You tap that and it turns your camera into or your phone into the camera mode. And you can take a selfie or a still picture by pressing a button on your watch to activate the phone on your camera whoops and it's uh the pictures are stored on your uh, phone bluetooth is where you set up your bluetooth connection um, with whichever bluetooth device you've got set up on your phone your file manager shows you the files that are on your watch. If you have any uh, pictures you've transferred over or music, this is where you'd see them. Your basic pedometer that you can start and stop right here. So it's not just always running, but you can um, selectively start it, stop it, and put in all of your basic information, your height, your weight, the goal of number of steps that you want to accumulate, all of that right there in the pedometer. You have a built-in sleep monitor that you can um, start and it will track your hours of sleep. And it looks like it's a stopwatch running to give you an overall track of your sleep time in general. Interesting, okay. Sedentary reminder, this is that looped um, notification every 30 minutes, up to 300 minutes. It will tell you to get up and move around or take a, take a drink of water or whatever you're choosing. Take medicine, whatever you want for your sedentary reminder. Here's the heart rate and the diodes are on the back, of course, and you strap that on or use your finger and it'll take a heart rate measurement for you. Seems to be doing pretty good. Um, you know, these are getting better with the newer watches. 
you get a uh, reading and then of course you get uh, all of this recorded or you can go into a continuous repeat mode or you can just take a one-time reading either way then you have Siri when you're tethered you can press that if you're on an Android it'll give you the equivalent of the uh, OK and you know the rest Google and uh, if it's on this one it'll do uh, with an with iOS it'll uh, summons uh, Siri for you you've got app download which is the QR code you use to scan but we know it's the fun do wear app that you're going to be looking for so you can simply scan on Funduware uh, in the Google Play Store and download uh, that app to your phone and use it. Or you can do the QR code if you'd like to do that. You have a basic stopwatch that we've seen all this before. You can start, stop. You can reset it, make lap time, all sorts of things. Okay, a calculator, which is a basic simple but color calculator the digits are kind of small a little challenging to read it'd be nice if they were bigger but they're all on the screen which is great a theme lets you just have different background you see the bubbles showing up behind the uh, icons or a flat blue or traditional black and then your settings and your uh, motion detector the motion is where you can have it do things when you flip your arm of muting incoming calls or alarms or wake on gesture when you turn that on then when the watch is off and you twist your wrist it should light it up for you okay and then settings overall bluetooth settings are here you can power it on you can make it visible to the phone uh, you can set your units for metric or imperial your clock is where you can set the time, uh, synchronize it, or do it manually, date, time, and time format. Your sound uh, of how it's going to behave, ring only, vibrate and ring, vibrate then ring, all those things, and the different ringtones that you have access to. There's the first one. Second one. Third. I guess there's only three. What's impressive is uh, the full range of sound coming out of this. The bass tones are there. The high frequencies are there. All these are classic. Oh, barely hear that one, the bicycle bell. Really soft on that one. Okay, so you can set all of those tones and the alarm type. Then you set your uh, overall volume level. They're all at maximum right now, 666. Your display lets you have uh, only the four apps display sometimes they have sequential you can have them one at a time your overall brightness level we're at about the mid band if i go all the way up it gets really bright oftentimes it'll wash out on the camera and all the way down is really nicely dim so you have a good range of uh brightness on this watch we'll keep it at three and then your screen timeout from as little as five seconds to up to a minute, which is where I've set it so we don't lose it while we're doing our review. International is all the different languages that you have. If I turn auto sync off, I can show you the uh, different languages that we have installed in this watch. Not a whole lot of them, but a few. Okay, English is chosen and if I set it on auto, then the language of the uh, associated phone will be what comes into the watch automatically. And you can change the name display from first to last, last to first. And then apps. Apps are where if you have installed any apps uh, into the watch, they will show up here. Up till now, the only one that we've seen in the um, Funduware app 
in the applications. And again, they're only going to show if I've got it all tethered and set up is a weather app. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you, you could kind of, if you're getting weather on the phone from that app, it should be able to transfer over to the watch. And that's where you'd be able to uh, delete that app if you wanted to. You can reset the overall watch here and about tells you what you're looking at. It's the Z4. There's uh, information, connection, version, release date, August 5th, 2017. So really new uh, firmware on this. So there you have it. The Z4 smartwatch. When you put it on, looks like this. Attractive, simple, waterproof. Yeah, fully dunkable waterproof. Nice metal band and available from GearBest. Yes, it is. Right now, check the show link. Uh, links down below. Get a discount price. Pick up your Z4 and go out on the town, everybody. That's a really nice dress watch. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Appreciate your subscription, and we'll see you back here soon.